Hello everybody, Scott Mitchell here with In Motion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. In this episode, we have a user named Benjamin who says, hey, when I visit my site, I see a white page with the words index of and then a list of what appears to be my files below. Can you help? So what is this index of page and how do we fix it? Well, if you're in the unfortunate situation where it happens, this is what you'll see. We're at the website, the main page, and we see index of, slash, and a list of files and folders. The files have extensions on them, and the folders have a slash after them. Now, the slash at the top here just means that I'm in the main directory for the, uh, for the account. If I go to, say, the admin, and it has the same situation going on, it'll say slash admin. So you can see kind of where this is occurring in your website. Okay, this is not something you want to see. So what causes this? Well, this is displayed when your website's either missing a main page, the main page, or the main page is not named properly. Yeah, so in this case, it'll display all this list of files and folders, whatever is in that directory. Now this is easily fixed, but it can present a bit of a security risk as it does show everything in the directory. And possibly shows the name of an admin folder, as you can see here, or maybe a file named something conspicuously important like config or password or anything else that a hacker or a malicious visitor may be able to use against you. Now, uh, I hope you're not the type of person to store password information in a plain text file named password in your main directory, but that's for another video. So how do we fix this? Well, your name, your main page has to be named a certain way. Our servers look for one of three names, index.htm, index.html, or index.php in that order. Now I have three here, but they also have .old after them, which means their actual name is index.html.old, etc. So they're out of the equation. The server looks for it, doesn't find what it's looking for. This is why we see the index of. I have them here just for ease of uh, showing you guys what's going on. So well, the first thing you want to do is check and make sure you have one of those three. If I rename them, to what they should be named. Okay. Then you will see a normal page as opposed to the index of page. So we renamed all three. Okay, go back here. All right, so index.htm, that's the first one it looks for. If the server does not find that, it comes over with index.html, okay? If it cannot find index.html, it looks for index.php. Hopefully it finds one of those. If none of these are found, then we get the index off page. So first, make sure you have an index.htm, index.html, or index.php page. Uh, another thing I see, particularly if something's been transferred from another host uh, over to us, we're gonna make this uh, index.htm, but let's say it has a capital index. I also see this in some certain uh, programs that help create websites. Okay, you can see we have an index off page, but index.htm is there. This is true, but it's capital. Now, if you host with us, know that we run on Linux-based servers as opposed to Windows-type servers. Uh, if you come from a Windows environment, you may be comfortable with the fact that Windows doesn't care if it's capital or lowercase, it reads it all the same. So index with a capital I.htm, index with a lowercase i.htm will be the same file. In fact, you can't shouldn't be able to name them both the same thing in the same directory because it'll conflict. Not, it's not true in Linux. Index with a capital I, index with a lowercase i are two separate files as far as Linux is concerned. So our server doesn't check for capitals, it checks for a lowercase. Okay, this also occurs uh, if the capitalization is not in the file name itself, but say the extension. Okay, we'll not recognize this 
and you can see it here, capital H, capital T, capital M, right there, even though it's named index.htm. So it has to all be lowercase. Okay, so if you're, you're sure you have an index.htm, HTML, PHP page, it's not showing, check that first. Okay, uh, so as soon as we change it back to lowercase, then we're good to go. And we're back to the beginning again. Okay, so what if you don't want to use index.htm, .html, .php? What if you want to use something entirely different? Well, you can. Uh, you just have to change the rules a little bit. Uh, say, for instance, we don't want to use these guys. We want to use uh, Fred here, fred.html. Well, we can tell our account to forget the previous rule and use what we tell it to use. To do that, you need to go to the htaccess file. Now, this file may be empty. It may have stuff in it from you know, your, uh, your program that you use to create a website, puts information in it. Regardless, you want to put this information at the very top. Okay, so we have directory index, fred.html. Save that. So now, if I visit the site, I get fred.html as opposed to index uh, htm, html, php. Okay, which is great. So if you want to do something different entirely, that's fine. This is usually for people that you may custom code something or whatever. However, there's a little caveat to this. When you change the htaccess file, if you don't have an htaccess file in another folder underneath that reverts it back to the original rule, then what you're gonna have here is a situation. Notice in the folder one folder, I have an index.htm. Okay, the other two as well, but they're taken out of the equation for now, but it should show index.htm. So if I go here, go to folder one, all right? So it's just here, this is what I get. Index of folder one, what happened to everything? Why didn't it show the index.htm? The reason being is that we told it to look for Fred. Can't find Fred. So it gives this, but why? We, you know, original rule was index HTM, HTML, and PHP, but there is an index.htm. Well, the rule we told it to look for Fred also made it disregard the previous rule entirely. So it no longer looks for anything after that. You can change that, of course, by adding them to your list. So when we visit again, we get index.htm, so that's fine. So if you wanna have a custom thing for one or more folders, that's fine. Just be sure to remember that you place other rules for those that don't have this problem, or don't have that you know, custom thing. All right, now, one more thing. Just to avert the whole problem of having your files displayed for everybody to see, there's one more thing you can place into the htaccess file. And we're going to go from scratch here, go to the edit. Okay, and uh, we're going to take out that particular rule. Okay, and if we go visit our main site again, okay, refresh that. We're back to index htm, which is fine. Um, what we're going to do here is cause the problem, so we're going to rename this. Okay, and now we have our original error, the index off page. Now, if you want to take care of being able to display this, even if for some reason you are sure everything is going well and you have your index files named properly, just in case you want to make sure that this thing doesn't appear, what you can do is go back to your htaccess file and add a new rule. All right, options, space, minus indexes. Now, what this does is we're not gonna change anything else. So right now we have the index of, okay? None of the index files are active. This is what we get. The visitor will get a 403 forbidden error, okay? so. If you want to use this in place as well, just in case something happens, just in case you have a folder that does not have 
into the right index file or something like that. This will also prevent things from being seen from the outside. Okay, so there you have it. There's the reason we see the index off page, the particular ones it looks for, and how to fix it completely. Make sure you have the index file. Make sure it's not capitalized. Uh, make sure you're not using a custom one. Or if you are using a custom one with the rule directory index, make sure you have the other index files included so it doesn't give the error if it doesn't find the custom one. And then lastly, have the options dash minus indexes uh, as a rule as well. So if it does happen, you get the 403 forbidden error and they can't see your list of files. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to leave your comments below so we know what questions you want answered next time. Thanks and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.